We're going to go over all the best settings for your Logitech C920 within the Logitech G Hub software. You should have your camera up and running. You should see it here. Let's go over all those juicy settings to maximize quality. If you don't already have this step ready really quick, what you needed to do was first of all, buy the Logitech C920 link in the description below to my Amazon affiliate link. You needed to search for Logitech G Hub, download and install the software. And of course, you needed to manually make sure you've updated your driver for the so for the actual device on your computer before you do anything that we're attempting to do right now. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say those things, link in the description below to the tutorials playlist. I'll walk you through all of those steps that will make sure that your device works properly when you're going through these best settings. Great. Let's start fresh here. Okay. So what you're going to do is have a new camera mode that will default here. So what you're going to do is pull this pull down menu right here and it will have default and just do new camera mode. Okay. So you can set up your own settings. Now, auto focus and auto exposure may not be turned on. You see those settings right over here. And so when you turn on the camera, it may look super jacked. So to get your bearings on what you want to do here, I recommend turning off auto focus and manually cranking down the focus toward the very end of the bar. And what that's going to do is if you're about two feet away from your camera or one foot away from your camera, that's generally going to be a good setting. As you can see though, my exposure looks horrible. So click auto on exposure and I recommend leaving on auto exposure, especially if you're going to set your priority setting right over here to exposure. Your two options are either exposure or frame rate. I recommend exposure because this camera's frame rate should be at about 30 frames per second because uh, you're going to be doing 1080p. I recommend leaving the zoom at zero. And as you start setting up the camera, just frame it up to where there's nothing in the shot you don't want to be showing people, okay? You want a bust shot, which means from the sternum, the bottom of your sternum up is all that's visible with a little bit on the top of your head at the top of the shot, as you can see here. That's the optimal shot. Get your camera in the right position for this shot rather than having to manually zoom all the way up from 100% to a kajillion percent to get the shot that you want. Cool? That's the camera settings, but there, wait, but wait, there's more. So if you click the video tab right up here, you can get some really cool settings. Just go ahead and set up a new filter along with me. Click add new filter. And what you can do if you think the shot looks a little dead, if you think it looks, you know, it's not so bright or it needs to pop a bit more, there are some cool settings here for that. First of all, I recommend turning on auto white balance. So if you turn that off, the white balance might get weird. Your skin tone might look weird. Click on auto and see if you like the quality of the skin in particular that it does for your skin. If you want your picture to pop more, turn up brightness by three to five percent, turn up contrast by three to five percent and turn up sharpness by three to five percent. And you can turn up saturation by three to five percent and it'll just make you pop a little bit more. If you look a little washed out with the shot and you want it to look good all the time, an option you can turn up contrast to 5% and maybe even go above 5% if you want. And it'll make the darks in your shot, the blacks in your shot, look uh, a bit darker and a bit blacker, uh, which will help make you pop out of the frame. You can make your own decisions, but plus 3% on all of the settings will make you pop a little bit more using this older webcam, but still good value for the money. For anti-flicker, I recommend choosing 60 as your default setting. And once you have done this, you're looking good. You're gonna look this good. You're gonna look this good all the time. When you use your Logitech C920, either in web conferences or in OBS or whatever application you're using, now your foundation is solid. Once again, link in the description below if you have not already bought the Logitech C920 affiliate link. You pay the same price when you buy it through that link, but I get a cut, which is great. Thanks for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.